Hi, this is going to be a quick tutorial covering the new input type for HTML5, uh, the color. So as of right now, the only browser that use, uh, supports this input type is Opera, the latest version of Opera. Google's uh, nightly build Canary also supports this, but if you go ahead and you have the latest version of Chrome, it won't support it. Neither would Firefox. Of course, Internet Explorer doesn't support it as of IE9. And uh, Safari doesn't support it. But for those browsers that don't support it, it will allow you, uh, it would just display an input type equals text type input field. So let's go see what this does. What this does, well, this is what it looks like um, in Opera. It will allow uh, the, the visitor to pick any colors without, you know, making, uh, you know, having to do a JavaScript or a Flash color wheel. It has a native support for it. So, you know, this will, this is going to be a pretty cool tool to allow, you know, you, more users customization on, you know, profiles like the, you know, they can pick background colors and everything like that. And it produces a hexadecimal uh, value. So let's go ahead and create, uh, just use this to change this color right here in our H1 tag. So we can see a practical use for this. So let's go ahead and right here, I'm going to use some jQuery. So let's do function to get this started to wait to page loads. We can do when to submit button is clicked. Okay. So let's go ahead and store the value for the color in a variable. So we just call that color. And we have that with an ID of color that value and then we can do h1 dot css color and we can just do color all right and then let's just go ahead and append the value for this after the button so we can see um you know what's actually inputted so we can do after submit okay we just do a span give it an ID of message and spit out color and close span all right, and to keep, to keep it clean, let's go ahead and just remove any previous message that was on the screen. All right, so let's go back into Opera, refresh the page. Let's go ahead and pick that color. There we go. All right, we can go ahead and pull up Google Canary, which is a nightly build of Google, which pretty much is like a sneak peek for uh, the next versions or what's new is going to be implemented in it, into it. Oh, that was a tongue twister. So, and I recommend uh, you guys to download this so you can test out some of the latest uh, CSS tricks to see what's supported in new HTML5. And this, with this, it just pops up to that. So let's go ahead and try that. Here, let's refresh. Okay. So for the current browsers like Firefox, let's go ahead and copy this right there. Since it doesn't pop up with, uh, you know, show a color picker, let's just go ahead and enter that in. That still works. Or we can type in a color. That works. All right, so that was a quick 
uh, overview of the HTML input type of color and its color wheel. Thanks for watching. And if you like this, go ahead and give this video a like. If you haven't subscribed, go ahead and subscribe to my channel. Thank you.